Welcome back. The kids band Chimps on a Blimp will be performing this Friday night at the Bob Rood Community Center. They are an all kids pop rock band. Adorable, mm -hmm. adorable as can be. I, I know that you were concerned about your voice today. You got some polyps going on, and uh, and so you wanted to let everybody know that uh, you've been having some vocal issues. But uh, the band doesn't, right? They're they're oh. playing, singing. Tell me about their instruments. They play some of everything. As a matter of fact, my nephew taught the kids how to play all the instruments. They're showbiz kids. It's really great. It's really great what he does with these kids. And they perform for different schools, different events. Uh, they donate to schools, you know, for the tickets. And uh, it's just amazing. How many kids are in the band? There's three boys. And then how, what's their ages? I believe, oh my goodness. Uh, well, it arranges from five, which is my little niece that comes out and introduces the band. Mm -hmm. And I believe up to 12 years old. So they're going to be performing at the Bob Rood Community Center? Yes, ma'am. They'll, they'll be uh, performing April 15th. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, 7 o'clock is showtime. Doors open at 6 o'clock. How much are the tickets? They're $10 a ticket. $1 will go for the schools. Um, not only is it a band, but they're an educational program. And they do show game, uh, show game, what are they, challenges. Uh -huh. They uh, give prizes. Uh -huh. It's, uh, there's snacks, sodas, uh, CDs for sale. It's, it's a great event for the family. Is it original music or cover songs or what? My nephew writes everything. And he is just, he, I know I'm partial, but he is amazing. Uh -huh what he does. So everybody come down to Bob Rue Community Center. Doors open at 6. It's $10 to get in and a lot of, uh, well at least a part of the proceeds go to our local schools here. You can find out more on chimpsonablimp.com. Yes ma'am. They have music. They have all kinds of information and please do because it, they are amazing. Now let's see what is happening in the world of entertainment. In your entertainment this week, the investigation into allegations of animal cruelty against Caesar Milan has ended and no charges will be brought against the dog whisperer. The Los Angeles County Department of Animal Care and Control responded to Milan's Dog Psychology Center in Santa Clarita on March 10th after receiving a complaint that an episode of his Nat Geo Wild series, Caesar 911, depicted a dog attacking a pig during a training session. Investigators say the pig and dog are doing well and found no evidence of animal cruelty. The case has since been closed. Universal Studios Hollywood attracts millions of visitors each year to its movie-based theme park and studio backlot where tourists can explore how movie magic is made. Universal Studios has now unveiled its long-awaited $500 million attraction five years in the making. Author J.K. Rowling's fictional universe is still enthralling fans across generations, almost two decades since her first novel, Harry Potter and the Philosopher Stone came out in 1997. On April 7th, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter opened its doors and tickets for opening day sold out days in advance, causing the park to halt online sales for the first time ever. Thousands of fans gathered at the entrance before dawn, waiting to be among the first to set foot in Hogsmeade, the quaint cobblestone village where Hogwarts students, and now muggles too, can enjoy a butter beer or have a wand choose them at Ollivander's wand shop. Nicholas Cage and Vince Neal got into a fight in Las Vegas last Thursday after Vince allegedly attacked a woman in a hotel and Vince is now the subject of a criminal investigation. Law enforcement says the fight went down at around 5 p.m. at Aria Hotel on the Las Vegas Strip. Nick and Vince were reportedly inside when a woman came up to Nick and asked for an autograph. Vince allegedly got behind the woman, grabbed her by the hair and pulled her to the ground. A video release shows the end of the fight between Vince and Nick. Nick allegedly was trying to restrain Vince and calm him down, taking him outside the hotel and into a car. Police say that Vince was cited for battery 
and never taken to the station. This has been your entertainment this week. I am Alicia Cook for News 46. All right, we'll have your local weather after the break.